Hi, this is Cheryl for Bayer's Pampered Stampers. Let's take a look at some new merchandise in the store. First up from Hero Arts, we've got some more looking glass die sets. This one you've actually seen before. It came in the shop box that we had, um, I want to say early July, late June, something like that. But this one sold out so quickly. So Holiday Kitten is back for you. If you want it, make sure you get it fairly quickly. Sorry, I'm adjusting on the fly here. My camera literally will not stay up, so not sure what's up with that. In any event, Holiday Kitten is here. If you're interested in it, get it quickly. It tends to go pretty fast. Also a looking glass die is this Nativity. How gorgeous is that? You can see the set fully built. Again, three different windows that you can choose to cut or not. Um, layer them together how you want and make a really cool holiday card. This one is called Stained Glass Angel Fancy Die. Too, too cool. Here we've got Autumn Leaves. How pretty for the leaves. I like them when they're a little bit um, detailed like this. And then, of course, they've included an acorn for us, so it's a perfect, complete set. This one's called Nativity Cover Plate. Again, a beautiful nativity die. Here's some... Um, Stampin' die sets. This first one is called, let's see, Holiday Cardinal Bundle. So you've got the cardinal in the center of the wreath and there. And the dies are included with it. You can't purchase these separately. They go with the stamp set now. Also from here at Arts, a Christmas tree bundle. Again, the stamps and the dies together. How cool is that? Sentiments are on this are may the wonders, wonder of Christmas be with you. Merry Christmas, O Christmas tree. And we have a nice fall one here called Pumpkin Bunch Bundle. So again, stamp and die bundle. Thanksgiving, Halloween, thankful for you, happy, thank you. And there's the die at the back. Now, Hero Arts has decided they're not going to sell these accompanying dies separate. So you will always find either just the stamp or the stamp plus die. You shouldn't be seeing any more, any separate stamp and die sets that are intended to go together. The dies will always be sold with the stamp. Here's some stencils from Hero Arts. This one's called Pumpkin Bunch. It's a layering stencil, so there's more than one in the package. And you can see on the back here how you're going to stencil these things together to make this wonderfully complex little pumpkin picture, which is so much fun. Also a layering stencil is this Oak Christmas tree stencil. Again, layering. So you've got multiple layers. Put them in one at a time, one color at a time. And you're able to achieve that look in the end. Here's a Christmas wreath. This one's called wreath color layering wreath stencils so it's confusing me I lost my top there and so again you can see how the colors later layer together so you get a beautiful dimensional stencil it's not just kind of flat against your paper also from here arts we have a couple of infinity die sets this one's called bulb ornament and you can see it has all these sizes down to this itty bitty bitty one in the center. And this one called Fir Trees. 
Again, the larger top, the little tiny one in the center. These dies are all separated, so you don't have to do that task, which is always kind of nice if you ask me. And it just takes care of business for you. So you've got all the tree sizes that you need in this set. A new product for Hero Arts is called Hero Wax. And Melissa has that in three different colors. There's gold, olive, and white. Hero Wax is not really what I would call a waxy product. It's a little more runny than that. Um, you're going to use your finger or a brush and just dip in and apply it to your paper. Sorry, I realize I'm off camera there. Um, I know this color is very hard to see. I apologize for that. I'll grab the gold here in a minute. You can see on my other side that I've tried the three colors that exist, the olive, the gold, and the white. Again, white is very difficult to see on this color, but imagine on a green or a red or a black background. It will be very cool. Again, you just spread it thinly, or you can thicken it up a little bit if you want something a little more dimensional. But that's essentially what it looks like. Shiny, metallic-y, just kind of cool. So there's my gold. White is there underneath. I know, hard to see, but it's really lurking. More gold, and then the olive. A totally cool product from Hero Arts. It's called Hero Wax. Um, moving on from Hero Arts, let's go to Lawn Fawn. We're going to start out with this cute tiny gift box. This is the dog add-on. You've seen many of those little character, um, animal character boxes that I've done and placed in the shop. Here's the dog. A lot of different styles you can do. Different tails, different ears, and that sort of thing. Here's a couple of examples on the back, but it's really up to your imagination where these things go. From Tailored Expressions, we have some foilets. These are called, they don't have a name, Balloon Party. Sorry, it's right in front of my face. Duh. So you run these through your laminator with a sheet of foil and it comes out foil and it looks great. So this is called Balloon Party, perfect for your birthday cards. This next one is called On Occasion. And there are several different sentiments on this. Um, hello, friend. Get well soon. Thinking of you. Thank you. And happy birthday, I think. Um, there also happens to be a stamp and die set that goes with this as well. So the stamp set, you get exactly what you see here. And the die set will cut out either one. So after you foil these up, you can purchase the die set cut them out and you've got individual sentiments how cool is that all foiled and ready to go for you now also a foilet is called beautiful baubles this is part of a new set that melissa's got in here's the beautiful baubles die that cuts out these ornaments and the strings that hold them up these are the little caps that go on top because you might want to do those a little differently. And here's a stencil that coordinates. So you could also stencil your ornaments. You can see there's three different steps here in this layering stencil. And so add your different colors and end up with some really cool ornaments. Again, you can buy these together individually you decide these you'll foil up you can cut out with this die um, the stencil is just something nice to add on if you want to add some color or you can do those separately and cut them out with the die lots of choices there from uh, let's see i'm gonna get my right pink from pink fresh we've got these great sentiment sets they have a variety of different sayings in them. You can see them on the back. 
These are all cut and ready to go. They're ready to add onto your card. So if you don't like cutting out that quick sentiment, grab one of these packs and you're probably covered. There's a lot of different choices in here from happy birthday, best wishes, great job, congrats, lots of different choices. There's another set here that's all in the golds. Again, you can see them best on the back. So you see a lot of common sentiments. Happy birthday, celebrate, thank you, cheers, that sort of thing. So again, these are perfect for those really quick cards where you just got to get it done and you don't have time to pull out all the sentiment stuff and get it cut and get it added. You pretty much pull a good sentiment from here, add it to your work, and you're good to go. From the paper cut, we've got a couple of different sizes of pop-up box cards. These make a box like what you see here. It's a five count kit, so you've got the pieces to make five of these cards, not the exact card you see. This is the base. So it's going to give you the base. You supply the other pieces and you make it wedding like it is, or you make it birthday or whatever you want to. So five in this, the folded size is four and a quarter by five and a half. So it's perfectly A2 sized and is going to go in a standard size envelope. Also from the paper cut, a square pop-up box. Once again, five of them included. This one's five and three quarters by five and three quarters when folded. So you can see it's a little bit bigger box here. Got a little more territory to decorate. Again, you're not going to get the decorations in this pack, but you are going to get the base cards, which is just awesome. They'll make super quick, easy pop-up box cards either one of these, depending on what size you want to use. Keeping in mind that A2 is going to mail for a standard postage rate. Anything square always goes up to a higher postage rate, and I'm not really sure why, but that's just the rules. So we deal with them, right? From Honey Bee, we have the Lovely Layers Peony. So it's another layered die set gorgeous gorgeous flower you can get a sense for it here on the layering guide let's see we don't get a picture on the back i really wish we did um, but i'm sure you can imagine it's going to make a gorgeous flower a gorgeous bud all the pieces are here how do i know what pieces to use and how to layer them that's what the layering guide is for so when these are attached, you've got the instructions you need. You're all set. If you happen to have one that doesn't have a layering guide, just go online to Honeybee and you can find the instructions fairly easy. So this is the, once again, Lovely Layers Peony. From Divinity Designs, here's a nice um, stamp set and coordinating die. It's one of those sentiments sets. This is called Bold Blessings Stamp and Die Duo. You are such a blessing to me. Be still and know that I'm God. Praying for you. Count your blessings. Trust in the Lord. God bless you. Have faith. God is with you. Peace be with you. So a very nice set. We're going to flip it over. And you can see there's the size of those sentiments. And there's the die that you're going to use to cut them out. So this is one of those. You stamp it once. Everything stamps together. And then you cut them out with the die. Super easy to do. And a great way to get multiple sentiments. And then you're ahead of the game. When you do your next card, you have some sentiments made ahead. So you are all set. Also from Divinity is an A2 envelope. This is a large die. Keep that in mind. It may not fit in your die cut machine. You might have to have a wide platform. If you have a grand caliber, it might work. If you have the wider 
Spellbinders Platinum. It should work for you. They're all at least eight and a half wide. Um, the standard Cuddlebug or Big Shot or Gemini Junior. They're small. They've only got six inch plates. So they're not going to be able to accommodate these flaps out to the side. So make sure your die cut machine is going to cut it out okay before you purchase it. Seems like a great idea and a fun die to have. Just don't get yourself in a mess with it. Make sure that you can do what you need to do with it. So that's what I have to show you for right now. Be sure to stay tuned for some other new. It's kind of pouring into the shop right now as a result of a recent video show. So I hope you enjoy all the new that's coming into the shop. And as always, we look forward to seeing you. Thanks for watching. Bye.